Hey, what's good, viewer? This is Spanky. Today I've got the Batman Little Gotham, the Joker. I'm not sure what exactly this is from, or if it's from a comic book. I think I've seen a little DC, little Gotham comic book before, but I can't be exact. There are a few more other characters. I actually have Batman. I haven't opened it up yet. And uh, I, I might get these too. It depends on how much I actually like these Joker and Batman. What we have here is a pretty unique take on the Joker. He doesn't look mean. He doesn't look too threatening. He just really looks happy. And he looks more, I guess, like a friend than a foe. And it's really a, a nice, cute design. I like the way the face is sculpted. I really like the way his smile is done. It's just... He looks really happy. He looks like he's joking about something. The hair sculpt is looked really well. It looks kind of Japanese-esque, in my opinion. Maybe a little bit of Super Saiyan in there. The green looks great. I love the pale white face. And he's even got a little bit of blush here on his cheek. The suit is pretty, you know, typical Joker-looking suit. He's got the orange underneath with the purple. And he's got some green buttons here and here on this side as well. They actually missed the green right here on this side. This one's green, but they missed it on that. The way his tail coat kind of wraps around his leg right here. He's in motion. I really like that. Looking at the legs here, just a little bit more of the purple suit. He's got some nice kicks on here. He's got little black and white. You can see the shoelaces and everything on that. The dog features no articulation. I think it's actually a hyena. I'm not sure if it's actually a dog. He has a collar there. Yeah, his head doesn't even move, so no articulation. Nice little sculpt. Fits well with the Joker. I like it a lot. He can kind of put his head down, but I don't think it's meant to do that. I wouldn't do that. It looks like it's going to break. It feels like it's going to break when I do that. I think it can only truly swivel. The shoulder articulation is a bit strange. It can go up, but if you spin it around a little bit, the joint gets a little bit weird and you can't put it back down. So you got to kind of keep spinning it until you get the sweet spot of the joint and you can finally put his arm back down. It's just the way the joint is actually designed. And if you force it too hard, you might actually end up breaking the joint. So don't do that. Just keep spinning it. And the best way to see if the joint is actually aligned is to look at the little hint of silver there, which is actually rather ugly. I don't know why they didn't paint that. Once that is facing forwards and backwards, then it will actually go back down. There isn't any wrist articulation at all, and of course there's no feet articulation on this figure either. This is the only articulation we'll get in the legs. So when you're buying this figure, you're not really buying it for the articulation. It's 100% style. Do you like the style? Yes or no? If you like the style, buy it. If you don't like the style, stay away from it. It's really hard for me to recommend this figure. Not because it's bad or anything, but mostly because I think it's really a base on perspective. A lot of people would love this. A lot of people wouldn't love it. I'm not really sure how to judge a figure like this. It has a great design. The mold is beautiful, but this is all it can really do. So you got to kind of look at both factors in that way. For cool figures like this and many more, check out Big Bad Toy Store in the description below. I really appreciate you guys for tuning in and watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. I really do appreciate it. Until next time, bye.